Good day, my dear students. So, in this module, we're going to talk about projectile motion. But first, what is a projectile? Ang projectile ay isang bagay that is moving through air. Pero, um, we're only studying the effect of gravitational force on that specific object. So, hindi natin consider yung air resistance among other forces. So, just to illustrate, these are examples of projectile. The first image, maaring nakita mo na siya, no? Nakita mo na siya nung sa free fall. This is an object thrown straight down, or you let it drop. And then this one, you throw it straight up, and then, syempre, bababa siya. Straight down then, due to gravity. Um, in the third one, oh, ito, parang ano siya, no? Para siyang nagtapon siya ng bola. Like, what will you do if, in basketball, halimbawang nag-free throw ka, or nag-three-point, or you attempted a three-point shot. So, um, in this module, we're more interested in these types of projectile. So this is the content of this module. Letter A, how will you describe the motion of a projectile motion in terms of um, acceleration, for example? And the um, second one, um, kasi yung projectile, as you saw, diba, sa, sa illustration, it is moving to the right. In this specific example, it's moving to the right. Also, it's moving... Through the, uh, along the y-axis. So, diba? it's this one in this part, it's moving to the right and it, it's also going up. And then, this part, it's moving to the right and it's also going down. So, you, 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 you will say that a projectile motion is moving into dimension. That's why we have to study both the horizontal and the vertical velocity. And also the horizontal and vertical displacement. So now, may nakanda lang uli ng velocity and displacement that ha that you have to study. Okay, let's start first with the first objective, talking about the characteristic of a projectile. Specifically, let's start with acceleration. So sabi dito, ang acceleration na naranasan ng isang projectile ay palaging downwards, always down. Miski pa, papunta siya sa taas. So, di ba in this one, you can see that the ball is increasing in velocity. So, kapag nagyayari yan, increasing in velocity, the direction of the acceleration arrow have to follow the direction of the velocity arrow. So, you can see that the arrow is going down. That's the negative acceleration. Kasi up, yung positive ay yung pataas. What about kung pataas, pataas yung motion niya? Like in this one. You can see na habang umaakyat, nagiging maikli yung velocity. That means it's slowing down. So, kapag ganito mga kaso, dapat opposite yung direction ng acceleration, arrow. So, still, you have a negative acceleration. Also, from the first law of motion, di ba? An unbalanced force is the cause of acceleration. Remember, kapag projectile motion, only the gravity is considered, di ba? Walang nagbabalance sa kanya pataas. So, you have a downward unbalanced force that will cause a downward acceleration. So that is why when you have projectile motion, the acceleration is negative or downward. Like said as well, um, projectile motion, 2D motion siya, two-dimensional. Ibig sabihin, gumagalaw siya yung object along the X and along the Y axis at the same time. Okay, magkaroon muna tayo ng konting um, thought experiment. Kasi diba sabi, meron siyang horizontal and meron siyang vertical motion. Itong horizontal motion only, this one, itong straight straight to the right na motion na ito, ito ay um, motion ng object kung hindi ito nakakaranas ng gravity. Dahil walang gravity, syempre hindi siya bababa. Diretso lang siya doon sa kanan na straight. Ito naman, this kapag vertical motion lang yung consider mo, Ibig sabihin, hindi pumutok yung canyon, di ba? Kasi ito, yung canyon naman yung naging dahilan ng horizontal motion. Kapag hindi pumutok yung canyon, kumbaga nahulog lang from the mouth of the canyon, yung bola, yung cannonball, it will look like this. Yung parang sa free fall, di ba? At, is, at it is going down, it's like you drop, you just drop, you just drop the object. At it is going down, it is increasing in velocity. Pero projectile motion, both of this, both of these motions are happening at the same time, doon sa object. So, bilang resulta, the object is still going to the right, but it is going down because of the pull 
of the gravity. You're getting an arc, a parabola. Okay, let's talk about horizontal motion again. If you didn't notice, pantay pa tayong spaces between them, di ba? Between the dots. Which means na constant yung velocity niya. Okay? Constant yung velocity niya. Yeah. Hindi ito naapektuhan ng gravitational force sapagkat ang force na ito ay vertical component ng projectile. Sa project, pag nag-aaral ka ng projectile motion, yung, yung causes ng motion, hindi, hindi pwedeng pakailaman nung vertical component, yung horizontal component. Okay? So, ang velocity na to, we know na, na ang velocity na to ay galing sa canyon. Yung canyon, tinulak siya horizontally. Okay? Now, kapag pag um, free fall, di ba, meron ka pa rin naman talaga gravity. Pero, don't think na maapektuhan ng gravity yung spaces na to. Yung, spa, yung, yung, um, yung pagitan ng bawat dots, yung spaces sa pagitan ng bawat dots, hindi siya maapektuhan ng gravity. Kasi yung gravity, isa siyang vertical force. It's not a horizontal force. Okay? So, a horizontal force will cause horizontal motion. The gravity, since, since it is a vertical force, will not affect the vertical motion. It will only, will not affect the horizontal motion. It will only affect the vertical motion of the object. Okay, when we say trajectory, that means the path of the motion. Like this line, this is the path of the motion. So like, like mentioned, it is parabolic, like an arc. Bakit ganun? Dahil nga pinagsama mo yung epekto ng gravity downwards and then the horizontal velocity of the canyon. Canyon ball. So, pag nag-aaral ka ng physics sa mga physics class, dalawa lagi yung um, turi ng projectile na pwede lumabas sa mga problems. It's either horizontally launched. When you say horizontally launched, ganito siya. It's from a top, from a surface above. And then, ayun, pinutok mo yun pababa. Parang half arc ang makukuha mo. Kalahati ng arco. Pero non-horizontally launch, parang from the ground, tinapon mo siya pataas, siguro enough force para medyo makalayo siya ng konti. Magkaroon ng range. This is the range. So that's non-horizontally launch. If you will see, meron siyang angle. Yung velocity mo, nung simula may angle dito. Dito wala kang angle. Horizontal lang. Okay, let's go back to this one. Horizontally launch projectile. So actually, in this module, we're only going to talk about horizontally launch projectile. So hindi natin pag-uusapan yung um, non-horizontal. So remember this. This is always the case for horizontally launch projectile. Ang initial velocity niya ay meron lamang horizontal component. Ang kanyang initial velocity, this one, ay horizontal. Kaya nga siya tinawag na horizontally launch. What I mean to say is, hindi siya pa pag ganito. Diba? Kasi as we learn di ba we learn from vector na kapag ganyan ganyan yung itsura ng iyong vector ay meron yang ano meron yang horizontal saka meron yang vertical component in horizontal launch projectile meron ka lang initial velocity na x wala kang version sa so y or wala kang not version component sa so y okay pakita natin ng masisinan yung kanyang horizontal and vertical velocity ng isang projectile. Okay, this is quite a lot, but please relax. So, like mentioned, this one, ito yung kanya initial position ng projectile, di ba? In the initial position, it's only experiencing horizontal velocity. And then, halimbawa, ito yung 1 second after, 2 second after, 3 second after, and so on. Nakikita na natin, no, yung nagiging mas kapansin-pansin na yung epekto ng gravity on the object. So, ayan, nakikita na natin na nagiging parabolic na siya. It is also going downwards, aside from rightwards. So, if we will look at this, let's focus on the horizontal velocities first. Kasi meron dalawa, di ba? Merong arrows na pakanan, merong arrows na pababa. Let's look at the arrows na pakanan. We can see that they are of the same length, di ba? Pare-pare sila ng size, ng haba. That means na constant yung iyong horizontal velocity. So, pag binigyan ka ng problem ng, for example, 20, 20 meter per second, you should you should already know na yun na yung kanyang um, horizontal velocity hanggang dulo. Okay? 
So whatever is the initial velocity, that is equal to the horizontal velocity until the end. Initial equals final. Initial ang simula hanggang dulo. Final. That's the same. Now, okay. Mm -mm. Like mentioned a while ago, may kita naman sa vector diagram na ang initial velocity ng projectile ay horizontal. Kasi nga, horizontal yung, yung canyon in this case. So, yung kanyang direction ng pagpotok ay talaga horizontal. So, yung iyong initial ve um, velocity ay horizontal lamang, ibig sabihin, zero yung vertical component mo. Okay? So, yan. May, may kita mo sa equation nito. Viy is equal to zero. Ibig sabihin ng i is initial, y being the y component. Okay, let's talk about the Vy, the vertical velocities. So, unlike horizontal velocities, nag iba, -iba to, di ba? Like, like we studied in free fall, habang mababa yung isang object, uh, bumibilis siya. Bumibilis siya. So, that is reflected here. One second after, the velocity is only 9.8 meter per second. Two seconds after, it's become 19.6 meter per second. Negative because downward. So, yung difference ay 9.8, di ba? Kasi alam natin na... Um, gravitational force, meron siyang acceleration due to gravity na equal sa 9.8 meter per second squared. Ibig sabihin, per second, the velocity is increasing by 9.8. So, if you will remember this equation, please. Kung aalamin mo yung iyong final vertical velocity, Ito ang iyong equation. This is your equation for the final vertical velocity. Or is it vertical final velocity? <laughs> okay, anyways, you have negative g times t. So, this is also your, actually your formula during the free fall. Hindi na natin kailangang alamin yung initial vertical velocity, yung viy since, di ba, zero siya. Like, like in the previous slide. Now, tingnan naman natin yung horizontal and vertical displacement ng projectile. So, dito tinignan yung gano'ng kalayo yung nararating pagbabago sa posisyon ng um, projectile along the horizontal axis and along the vertical axis. So, since constant ka yung velocity mo dito sa horizontal, di ba? You will expect na pantay-pantay yung nararating niya sa bawat segundo. So, kanina, 20 meter per second, di ba? So, syempre, you will expect that every second, you are getting further away by 20 meters, yun ang displacement mo. But it's a different story kapag vertical motion. Pero before that, horizontal displacement muna tayo. This is your formula for horizontal displacement. X equal to horizontal displacement, horizontal velocity rather, times time. Very simple, di ba? Kasi nga, dahil constant to, okay, multiply mo lang sa, sa time para malaman mo kung gano'n nakalayo yung object. Di ba? Meter per second. If you multiply by time, you get the meters because the seconds will cancel out. Okay, let's look at the vertical displacement ng projectile. Habang umababa, bumibili siya, di ba? So, you will expect na mas malaki yung nakakover niyang distance. Uh, this is going down. This is your formula. Y equals 1 half times negative G times squared. Also, your formula during the free fall. So, this should be familiar. Okay, 